Season two, I think audiences can look forward to what happens with Becky's pregnancy and birth, and uh, Darlene is caught in a love triangle that we established last season with her original flame, David, and Ben, her new man. Um, so that's fun to see her deal with the heat of that. Um, Harris starts to get into some trouble. I mean, starts to. Harris is always in trouble, but that escalates. Um, Mark, uh, my son, is gets in some controversy at school. So Darlene has to deal with that and going to the school. And um, Dan, we see him furthering his journey, starting a friendship with Katie Seagal, her character and seeing where that goes, where they land. The topics, we, we don't ever try to do things just because they're a hot button issue or we don't try to have a political stance on anything. It's more we talk about what would be facing this family organically. So because they're a middle class family and they're struggling to make ends meet, they're naturally dealing with things like healthcare or paying bills or um, Becky's, the, the father of her baby was deported and that's sort of organically uh, something that's affecting them. I'm super thrilled to be here because I admire them all so much. I'm a bit of a fangirl actually. I don't know if he knows that, but I'm, I'm like really, um, you know, if you're gonna be on uh, a, a network television show, this is the one to be on. So um, I felt really thrilled that they asked me to be here. They're totally chill. When you get here, everybody's, you know, doing their job. It's, it's a job, it's great. And so, um, yeah, I feel really welcomed. They've been very nice. Nobody's yelled at me yet. It's good. We're lucky to have her. In the first season, she, she sees Dan, she kind of like, hits on him immediately, which I think was, well, sort of, in a casual way. But she also understands right away that, you know, he's going through a lot, so, but it, it's, it's implied that she's always carried a torch for him. And so, you know, time's a waste, and so she kind of goes for it. And then, so we come back this season, and now she's the manager of Casita Bonita, and it's sort of implied that in the interim they've they haven't been really hanging out, but they've seen each other in the in the bar. This season, Harris is a bit of a rebel. She's, you know, her side hustle is selling pop cookies. And I don't think she's doing it in like a bad way. I think she's genuinely doing it to get some pocket money. She thinks it's, you know, a way she can do it. It's obviously a little bit misguided, but it's her way of <laughs> trying to do something good for herself. Becky is a mom. She has a baby a little girl, um, so that's exciting for everyone, and she needs a lot of help, so <laughs> she's she's taking it where she can get it. Yeah. And uh, Darlene is in a love triangle. And then the rest of the family, I think, is, as always, trying to kind of figure out the way to uh, support each other without trying to mess up each other's lives too much, much like a real family, and uh, everybody kind of has a interesting dynamic that's kind of growing and changing as the kids are growing and changing. It keeps touching on big issues, you know, let alone the parenting, but um, your sobriety that uh, Becky deals with in this uh, season and um, immigration that you're also dealing with and aging and uh, finances and Geez, what else? I mean, it's we, kind of everything. I yeah. mean, we, we nothing is off limits. I think that's the real beauty of this show, and always has been. Is I think that's what resonates with the audience because you're dealing with every possible dynamic, every element of a family comes into play, and then we find a way to add humor to that and kind of disarm yeah, the, the pain of it. The writers do an excellent job of that. I, I'm 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 amazed at that, given some of the some of the topics that they they write about. Mm -hmm.